Then, what if there was a way you could be more attractive, feel less stressed, and get better grades in school without even having to set a foot, not even one foot, in the gym? Would you do it? There is a way. I am here to tell you there is a way. And it is called adult playfulness. And that term comes from a study done by three Penn State professors in 2012 named Gary Chick, Kareen Yarnell, and Andrew Purrington. And for those of you who, who are wondering, Andrew Purrington is not a cat, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> but I have a lot, of, a lot of experience in this topic. My entire family is very silly. We're pretty good at it. Pretty darn good at it, especially <laughs> my sister. <laughs> I've been encouraged my entire life to be playful and to be silly and to have fun with life. And that's what I've done. And while I was preparing for the speech, I also read a lot of research. There's actually a lot of research about adult playfulness, and I never knew that before. But adult playfulness is very, very important in our lives. And today I aim to inspire all of you to be more playful in life. Specifically, I'm going to talk about what adult playfulness is and also what it is not. I'm going to talk about the benefits of adult playfulness in your lives. And then I'm going to, uh, excuse me, show you and demonstrate some ways that you guys can be playful in life. So let's begin, excuse me, let's begin with uh, a professional definition of adult playfulness. And this comes from Lynn A. Barnett, and she is a University of Illinois professor. She said that playfulness is a disposition to frame or reframe a situation in such a way as to provide oneself, and possibly others, with amusement, humor, or entertainment. And I really like that definition because she talks about how it's a disposition. It's something that we have and it's something that comes before those moments in life that hit us really hard. Or even the moments that, that make us really laugh a lot. But it's a choice that we have before. It's seeing through the bad and finding ways to entertain yourself. Really, and, and this is how I look at it in my mind, it's, it's seeing the opportunities to find adventures even in the small things in life. Now I want to tell you guys a little bit about what it is not. Adult playfulness is not irresponsibility. And it is not never being able to be serious. And it is definitely not childish. In fact, the, the adults that I know that are the most playful are some of the most outstanding men and women that I have ever met. It's their choice to be more than just life's heavy burdens. They insist on seeing the opportunities and the art through life's storms, the hectic storms that we all have. And throughout all the mundane things that they do in life and that we do in life, they find a way to be entertained. They just find it wherever they go. Now that you all know what adult playfulness is and what it's not, I want to tell you all why it should matter to each one of you. There are so many benefits of adult playfulness, both health, mental, and physical, as well as some of the ones I mentioned before. So I'm going to go back to the things I mentioned in my introduction. The first one was being more attractive. That might sound really weird when I'm talking about adult playfulness, but that 2012 study that I mentioned earlier, they came to a few conclusions. Specifically, that playfulness in adults was a key factor in what they called sexual selection or choosing a mate in life. Now, Drew actually just talked about dating, and he talked a lot about that. Playfulness makes dating that much better. And it also, like I said, makes you more attractive to other people. It's one of the, the first attributes that people look for when they're looking for their mate, as they put it. Joe Wilner, he's a life coach, said, or talked about playfulness. And just paraphrasing what he said, basically he said that you bond more, you bond more deeply. And you get over differences and conflict a lot faster because you have a friendly, more light approach on the situation and what happened. Also, you're less stressed. And this is huge, especially as college students for us. Being playful means not only do you just not really 
feel the stress as much. But in fact, you actually tend to encounter it less in your life. It just doesn't happen to you as much if you're more playful. Going back to Lynn Barnett, the University of Illinois professor, she said that, that people who are playful don't run away from stress. They deal with it and then they move on. She also did her own little study with her own students. And I don't know if Sister Bean's ever done anything like this, who knows. But her, her uh, study, her experiment, was she put each one of her students into a, a solitary room. And she just left them there for I don't know how long, but she just left them there for a while and just watched them. The people who had scored higher on her playfulness quiz loved it. They just sat there and entertained themselves. This is what she said about it. They said they were just in their heads. They entertained themselves. They just sat there and enjoyed it. And the other people hated it. She said she could legitimately and physically watch them hate it. They were sitting there and they just wanted to get out of there as fast as they could. So you're less stressed when you're more playful. The last one I mentioned was that you can get better grades. And this is actually one of the findings that I saw in all of the research that I did. Everywhere I looked, they all talked about academic success being something that comes from playful people. Renee T. Proyer, who was one of the first people to study this topic, uh, he did his own little experiment also on his students. He's, he's at the University of Zurich. And he said that he had one of the most challenging courses in the entire university. And that the more playful the students were, the better the grades. Awesome, right? So the more, fun, the more playful you are, the better grades you're going to have. And one reason for this might be because it's been proven that play, people who are more playful are also more flexible. And they can just see other perspectives a lot better. They can see things from different perspectives. And that way, they're, they're known to have better problem-solving skills and just find different, more innovative solutions to, to the same problems. So now that you guys know what it is, and you guys know the benefits of it, I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to talk to you guys about some ways to be more playful in life. And the first one, I do this all the time, is to write. Think about it. When you write, you can literally be anyone, do anything, and create any world. You have full freedom to be imaginative and creative. And it's awesome. I tend to choose to write when I'm actually upset. And it calms me down so quickly. I literally get to vent to myself. I mean, how cool is that? But writing is perfect. The next one is, is music. Anything you do with music could be considered as a type of adult playfulness. Now, I have to give a shout out to Carly, because a few weeks ago she gave us a speech about writing songs, and that is perfect right there. We don't have to write songs. I've actually never written a song. But any type of music is perfect, and it helps us be more than we are and be more imaginative. The next one, and this is one I feel like is overlooked a lot, is Legos. Legos are so awesome. There are literally millions of ways you can put these things together, and you can create anything from your imagination. It also helps you have more problem-solving skills. If you don't have wh exactly what you need, you end up coming up with something else. The design that's in your head ends up coming out usually in a way that you didn't expect. The next one is to learn a random skill, and it could be anything. Me and my best friend decided that we were going to learn some random skill. He was doing backflips. We really, really wanted to. So I learned how to backflip off of a wall, out of a cartwheel, you name it. I, can backflip, I could backflip right here if it wouldn't rip my pants. <laughs> I actually even did it, I did the dunk contest here at BYU-Idaho one year, and as they introduced me, ran out, did a backflip. I felt so cool. They had the lights on me and everything, it was great. But learning a new skill just helps you to make more of yourself. The next one that I want to talk to you about is to use the skills that you have and that you're learning in school. And I've created something for you guys, literally, from one of the skills in the class that Scott and I have together. I created this as a random compliment generator. And I literally did all of the coding for it. I just, I just wrote it up. And this is all that it is. It's a little button. I click on it and... Your hands move slightly. Nice. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. OMG, your nails look so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the one soft that disappears. I don't know what I did to lose you, but I want you back. <laughs> Perfect. 
this is just something I felt that, like this was so awesome. Um, and to this day, I'm still really proud of it. But being creative and being playful are synonymous. And they're things that push you to be more than you actually are. So now that you know what playfulness is, you know the health benefits and the other benefits of it, and you know some ways to encourage it in your own life, go out and do it. Go forth and be playful, everyone. <laughs> it could be as simple as singing in the shower or as complex as coding an Excel spreadsheet to give you random compliments to make you feel better. But whatever it is, it will help you in your life. As Leon uh, Nafak, a Boston Globe article uh, author, excuse me, said, he said, growing up doesn't have to mean cutting fun and lightheartedness out of our lives. On the contrary, it may mean realizing that engaging in such activities is an excellent use of your time. <laughs>